let's go through the stages. Stage one is where we all hope we stay on the seven point scale. It's called normal, senior moments. And where they come from is how many can run as fast as you did when you were 20? So why does it surprise you to have more memory slip ups? It's not a loss of memory, it's less efficiency. Everything else in my body is less efficient, why not my memory? I'm going to lose my place a little more often, I'm more likely to have trouble multitasking, all of those kind of things. That's normal stuff. But in some people, that's not normal. Because more is happening. Stage one. What will happen is a workup if you go and ask for one. If you got your brain pictured, like if I went and got an MRI of my brain, my brain is shrunk compared to when I was 20. So shrinkage is normal. I'm just trying to say, don't look at this medically, because that's not the only way to look. After about 20 to 30, I'm going to start developing some tangles. Let's see if you can't see this very well, but there's a tangled cell here that doesn't have a normal cellular structure. As the cell skeleton kind of breaks down and it gets twisted, it's called a tangle. Yes, that's the pathology of Alzheimer's disease. Yes, we'll all get some tangles. That doesn't mean we're going to get demented. Now, none of you have to deal with this, but I do have over 50. There's gunky deposits that build up called plaques. And to those that follow Alzheimer's, one of those amyloid, amyloid and tau proteins. They develop in all of us at some point in time. So how do you diagnose Alzheimer's disease pathologically? The density. Not the existence of, but the density of. And yes, you can have very dense plaques and tangles on autopsy, because the studies have been done, and not have clinical Alzheimer's disease. So it's a very tricky thing. And, you know, theoretically, just a side note, the treatment strategy has been, especially research-wise, to try and develop amyloid busters, so to speak. The furthest of those drugs that got into clinical trials was the Lilly drug, and I don't remember the name of it, but it's the Lilly drug. What was the outcome of that particular clinical trial? They shut it down. Why? Because it worked. They took away the amyloid plaques. Now, if this is really causing the problems, what should have happened when they got rid of the plaques? You get better, but what happened? Got worse. So that's not a good strategy. People ask about research studies. Anything that makes for little microvascular changes that they don't think is clinically significant, I run the other way. I want my neurons to stay like they are until they prove that taking something out helps, because this convinced me it's a little more scary than I was expecting. So therefore, at this point in time, what we diagnose Alzheimer's disease is an accumulation of plaques and tangles. But I'm still not sure that's clinically what's going on. So what's going to happen normally to provide senior moments? I'm going to have more trouble dividing my attention. Like today, I was distracted because I just had a meeting and I drove by the church. I hate admitting it, but I was thinking about other things. And I was thinking about being on time. And then when I miss the church, it's kind of like, oh, now I'm going to be late. Which makes me, of course, multitask even worse. As I get older, naturally, I have to spend more time and more effort. Remember, as your calendar got thicker, more entries, more post-it notes, information takes longer to bring to mind. You were mentioning, you know, if it comes back to you, that happens as a result of aging. You don't think of it for the moment. Somebody was complaining yesterday because they couldn't remember something important about their wife's name for a few minutes. But then it came to them. It scared them, but it was not critical. It's what normally happens as your brain gets older. It blocks, especially on nouns. That's not Alzheimer's. That's not short-term memory. Short-term memory is different. And of course, we always have to make sure we can hear okay. You know, vision's easy because people correct vision. If you are having any changes in hearing, please get a hearing evaluation. You won't remember what you didn't hear. And if you start to have memory loss, you magnify the memory loss by not being able to hear. Plus, you've got to learn what to do with those little buggers because they crawl away. And you need to have enough memory resource to figure out how to use them, how to store them, and get a routine worked out.
Because at some point they won't do any good because you can't learn to use them. <laughs>